I must tell you. I I may not never meet you again, so there is something I must tell you right now. It's so important that I would be remiss to not share it with you. Yet it's so simple that you can read it in just a few minutes. It's just a message you may not like, but it is a message of love. You may try to ignore it today, but it will affect you forever. First of all, let me emphasize that this message is absolutely true because it is a message from God, and He cannot lie. When God makes a promise, you can rest upon it because He promises never fail. God will not force you to believe this message. That is your choice but he will hold you responsible for hearing it lastly let me tell you his personal message to you it brings you to the place of decision you must either accept it or reject it you must either say I will or I will not you cannot be neutral here then is the message is quotation from God's Word, the Holy Bible. Read it for read it yourself. Read it several times. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. Have you ever heard such wonderful words as these? Just think for a moment what they say. They reveal three astounding facts. First, God so loved the world. Since you are in the world, it means He loves you. It means that God loves sinners because that's what we are all are. For all of sin and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 God says that you are a sinner and if you are honest, you will agree, while God certainly loves you, He hates your sin. Sin will keep you out of heaven, because God is holy. He must punish sin. Thus, a loving God must find a holy way of saving sinners. Otherwise, the sinner must pay for his own sins by spending eternity in hell. The second great fact is this. He gave His only begotten Son. The first statement tells you that God loved you. This statement tells you how much He loved you. He loved you so much that He gave His only begotten Son. Do you know what that means? It means that the Lord Jesus Christ suffered on the cross of Calvary so that you might be saved. He shed His blood so that your sins might be put away. He died for you so that you might live in heaven forever. Someone must pay the penalty of sin, either you or a sinless substitute. God gave His Son to stand, to stand in your place. Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18 now for the third tremendous fact whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life or better words than these ever spoken think of it God gives eternal life to those who trust in Christ the Savior has finished the work he has died has risen from the grave and gone back into heaven God has accepted him. This simply means you should confess that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. Realize that Christ is willing and able to meet your need. Trust him as your Savior and Lord. This is the message which I have to tell you. Now you must make a decision. Will you accept him or reject him? Will you believe on him or will you refuse him? I never met I, I, will, I may never meet you again on earth, 
but I hope I'll meet you in heaven. If you accept the sinner Savior, the sinner Savior, then you will surely be saved. Jesus said, He that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. John 6, 37 Come to Christ today.